I'm Andrew Stringer, I'm Head of Environment and Nature Recovery at Forestry England and we're here in this very small ancient woodland on the outskirts of York today and we're trying to do a fungi translocation. We're taking small soil cores from this ancient woodland, trying to move the fungi communities and invertebrate communities and flowers as well potentially to a new woodland creation site just a few miles away where uh, these animals could not naturally disperse to. And the aim of the project is to try and create not just trees on that new woodland creation site, but a whole woodland ecosystem, really valuable for biodiversity as well as resilience for future pressures like climate change. Today is very small scale, very low risk, but over half of the nation's forests managed by Forestry England are what we call secondary woodlands. It means they've been planted in the last hundred years. And through technologies like eDNA, we're pretty sure that many of them are lacking fungi, in particular mycorrhizal fungi, which partner with trees to help them grow. So the potential of this technique could be huge. It could be an important technique for 140,000 hectares of the nation's forests where we're lacking fungi species.